Hi, this is Pete Olivier. I work in the Flow Lab at Thompson Equipment Company. Today I'm going to show you how to set the upper range value and the calibration factor into an IMT25 secondary. The IMT25 is very similar to the IMT96. There are some differences in the procedures. As before, we will be setting the help or left arrow key to get measurements on the screen, then the reset or up arrow key to get setup change or right arrow key to get system, the reset or up arrow key to get calibration, the change or right arrow key to confirm calibration meter factor, the change or right arrow key to get to the meter factor itself. It displays the current setting. We're going to be changing this to a meter factor of 0 0.5731, but you'll notice that it's entered in exponential format. We're going to have to make sure that we retain the negative zero one at the end of the number. To proceed we hit shift change and the, it'll ask us to go offline and we answer yes and then we have the calibration factor displayed inside of square brackets. Use the change button or key to end, advance through the calibration factor to get to the digit that needs to be changed and then make up or down arrow changes to change the digit. So six seven three, two, one, and we're leaving, pardon me, I made a mistake. We can go back and correct that mistake. We still have to advance all the way through to the end of the number and change the square brackets to curly brackets. Then we press the left arrow repeatedly until we get to where we're requested to go back online and we answer yes. And we have now entered the calibration factor into the secondary. Now we're going to change the output range set into the instrument. The procedure is as before. Help our left arrow to measurements. Reset up arrow to setup. Change right arrow to system. Act down arrow to outputs. Change right arrow to output mode. Act down arrow to range info. Change right arrow to the URV. It is displaying currently 3000. We want to make this 2700. Press shift change. Asks us to go offline. We answer yes. And now the upper range value is displayed inside square brackets. Use the change key to advance until the digit that you need to change is blinking and then use the up or down arrow key to change the quantity. So from 3000 down arrow to 2000, change over to the next field or digit and then down arrow or up arrow as appropriate in this case down will be faster. 8, 7 and you have to advance all the way through the number until the square brackets become curly brackets and then you hit the help or left arrow button repeatedly until you get back to a question asking you to go online again and you answer yes and now the upper range value has been set to 2700 gallons per minute. Now I've shown you how to set the calibration factor and the upper range value into the IMT25. Unlike the IMT96, this instrument does not need to be auto-zeroed. It will determine its own zero point on its own. Uh, we hope that this information has been of help to you. If you have any further requests or questions concerning calibration, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-528-8997 and we will try to, try to address your problems.